Hey guys, Professor Bulba here with special guest Proto Mario. If you're here because a Graveler used Earthquake, great, keep watching. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, head over to his channel by clicking here or looking in the description below for the first part. Let's start off with the Weight Watcher Club. Here is a small list of Pokemon that lost a lot of weight since their original sprites in Gen 1. Fat Pokemon, Blastoise, Pidgeotto, Fat Pikachu, and his big cousin Raichu. Oh my god, they were so fat. And Mr. Mime. Whoa, what the fuck? Did Mr. Mime grow a finger since Gen 1? Oh, and let's not forget about Vineplume. It put on a lot of weight in its later generations. Maybe it should have tried Jenny Craig. Who's next? Ah, yes. Golbat, good ol' I'm going to suck the flesh off your face with my tongue. Golbat. Thankfully, it got a well-needed facelift in later generations. Golbat's really terrifying in Gen 1. Golbat's transformation actually inspired Machoke to get a well-needed touch-up. Machoke saw therapy for his steroid use. His once blatantly stretch-marked arms are better incorporated into his mask, which are his bulging biceps. Speaking of steroids, Kingler got off them after Generation 1. And, you know, that's not all. The two of them actually got together and had an intervention for the one execute who was taking growth hormones. I'd say things are looking up for these guys. Let's take a look at something simple, Dratini. For some reason, Dratini loses the lines on its underside and is never seen again after Generation 1, even on the trading cards. Maybe there is, I don't know, something in the water? Speaking of water, let's take a look at Shelter. Okay, there must have been something in the water, because after Gen 1, his eyes got way bigger. And since we're on the topic of Shelter, it looks like the one on Slowbro's tail has gotten quite far in his quest to eat Slowpoke whole. Whoa, take a look at Loyster. It once opened up to people horizontally in Gen 1, but then something changed, and now it only does so vertically. And he has a giant spike on top of his head. Looks like it went from an average to a badass. But sadly, the opposite happened to Honor, who went from being badass to more of a friendly foe. Dragonite also followed this trend, and went from looking like a menacing threat to a dopey dragon. You guys used to be cool, man. You guys used to be cool. It's not that cool fairy look, just derpy. Perhaps one of the more notable changes is that that occurred for Moltres. Looking at this majestic creature, I never would have guessed it started looking off like this. <coughs> Other redesigns include Coughing. In Generation 1, it was as stupid as it was ugly. Coughing fixed his head and put his warning label towards the bottom like every other warning label should. For some reason in Generation 1, it was put on top. Then we go to our fine fossil friends, Omastar and Kabuto. Omastar was forbidden from ever doing disco dancing again after Generation 1. Because, you know, Kabuto couldn't look him in the eyes anymore. Now that I think about it, it is kind of weird that we never actually saw the underside of Kabuto until later on. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the struggle that is Snorlax and what he's gone through over the years to finally sit up? Yes, celebrate my Snorlax friend, you have indeed earned it. Have a berry. And to wrap all this up, we shall end it with something I've always found funny. Kakuna. It once had expandable arms, but later it lost the ability to use them, well sort of. They actually ended up turning into a tie which kind of suits him, if you ask me. Ah, get it? Suit? Tie? Uh-huh. If you haven't done so already, come check out my channel. But not before subscribing to Bulbatube for weekly videos. I'm Proto Mario, and I'm signing out. Thanks for watching, and I hope to do more collabs in the future with Bulbatube.
please consider joining the Maverick Rebellion today. Together, my subscribers are more than just people. We are Mavericks who desire to change the gaming stereotypes and bring a better sense of community to YouTube. Individually, we can accomplish so much, but united, we can change how the world views gaming. Please consider joining our cause and subscribe today, and you'll be part of something bigger. You'll be part of an army and part of a rebellion against injustice. Mavericks Unite, I am Proto Mario, and I approve this message.